till now we have implemented a local JSON, remote JSON. Now we are going to implement the Spring Boot REST API. So what we are going to do, let me show you the Spring Boot. So I have just started my server. So here this one, like uh, uh, how, like what type of request I have and uh, what type of things we required at uh, that end. So this this is the thing like request mapping as uh, employee. It will call the get all employee and get all employee will call the function present in the service service layer and service layer then call the function which is present at the DAO layer and uh, then DAO layer it will call my database which is the oracle and from the oracle it will give me the result so as you can see the hibernate is also running in background so in this project I have used the hibernate so I will uh, share the link of this project how I made it in the description just go through it so that you will have the clear picture like how the things are going on so as you can see this is my project structure uh, like I have two DTO employee and project then uh, service in that I have employee service and project service then uh, in DAO controller I have two controller employee controller project controller and uh, this one uh, in that DAO I have two interfaces and in that they are directly uh, uh, connected with the database so like uh, this is the this is the application which I am going to use to get my data in Ionic 4. So as you can see this is the postman. Let me just send the request again. So what it will go, it, 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 it will do, it will just hit my uh, Spring Boot API and it will uh, give me the result. So this is the result. Employee details in that I have employee ID, employee name and depth name. and uh, I'm uh, getting in the JSON format, so that that we want in JSON format. Uh, we want the uh, we want the data in JSON format. So how to load uh, these details? So to update details in tab three, we need to open tab three page dot html and tab three page dot ts. So uh, in tab three page dot ts, we need to do the same thing as we did in tab two page dot ts like at the place just we need to change the URL and in the URL I'm passing a local host 9090 employees and the same thing which I have done in tab 2.page.ts the same thing I have done here also so just save it uh, now now in tab 3.page.html file we need to update the same thing like as we done in uh, tab 2.page.html we require padding this one for heading and uh, this for iteration and this uh, synchronous for uh, like to wait uh, for data for uh, like coming from the server that time we need to wait here so we are iterating one by one and we are just uh, saving it now let's see the output it's in compile mode Yeah, so now it compiled successfully just uh, I need to go there so I am already on tabs slash tab 3 as you can see here so it will directly open tab 3 page yeah so what error we are getting here 8100 has been blocked by CORS policy no access control allow origin so this is the known error let me uh, uh, remove it so like I have commented this one cross origin we just uh, need to uncomment it like uh, we need to say our uh, uh, this spring boot like uh, this uh, localhost that uh, dot uh, uh, sorry localhost uh, colon 8100 is we can accept the request from their side and we can pass the details so please do not block it so like this we need to define in our course uh, cross origin so that it can able to access from the ionic 
so after updating uh, the cross origin for the local host 8100 just restart your server and uh, now let me check again so this is my local json this is my remote json and uh, this is my spring boot rest api so you can see here like this data i am getting from my spring boot uh, server like as whenever we will refresh it um, whenever we will refresh it it will hit the query from the rest api and it will give me the result so let me show you that also so uh, now i'm going to click on spring boot rest api so it is coming here and it is also phased one query from our rest api so like this uh, we have implemented this local json remote json and spring boot api json so uh, i hope you like the video and you able you got all the idea so if you have any doubt then please comment in the comment section and uh, if uh, you have any issue then uh, please put in the comment and uh, save it properly and then start your project then it will uh, give you the result and uh, yeah uh, in next video we are going to see all this rest api operation through the ionic 4 so please subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys